I'm Sean Gustafson. I'm the writer of The Specialists, and I'm here at Mile High Comics for Groovy TV. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Sean Gustafson, the creator of The Specialist here, Mile High Comics. And this free comic book, Dan, you just gave me some free comics, which is awesome of you. you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Awesome. So stoked for the Comic-Con coming up. And uh, you're going to be there, correct? Yes. Awesome. Do you know what booth you're in? I have not heard yet, no. Okay, cool. Right on. So tell me about The Specialist. What's the scoop on this? All right. Well, first I should clarify, I'm not the sole creator. I'm a co-creator. My partner, Alfie Kolick, uh, helped me out with this. We are uh, old college friends. Um, so this is a World War II story where the... Um, the Nazis have developed superhuman soldiers called Ubermenschen, and they're actually able to, they're winning the war because of, because of their extra power. Mm -hmm. um, and so our story starts in 1946, and the war is still going on. The, the Nazis are still in the war. Awesome. And so the, uh, the Americans have been forced to create a superhero team of their own, a super soldier team of their own, uh, using atomic power. And so uh, that's the, that's the, the basic setting. Uh, our first uh, chapter starts with, uh, we introduce two main characters, Max Finkelstein, mm -hmm. who is a 15-year-old uh, boy genius who has invented a, or he's working on a, uh, a battle robot that he's going to try to sell to the army. Um, and then Hartman Loa, who actually is, he was a volunteer for the Nazis Ubermensch program, mm -hmm. and it went wrong, kind of turned him into a beast man, and so now he's trying to escape from the Nazis to help fight against them with the Allies. That is so cool. So what made you want to go, uh, any realm you could go into, why this one? You know, I don't know. Um, well, I just, I've always been, you know, interested in World War II. I think it's a it's a really fertile sort of setting for superhero stories. Oh yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think the Nazis were really kind of a, a super villain organization. Um, so it just uh, I, when we were putting together an idea, we wanted to do something, and we were kind of you know brain, brainstorming, and uh, just said, hey, why don't we do World War II? And like, yeah, okay, cool, and it just went from there. That is so cool. Now, is this still ongoing? More coming? Yes. Uh, we have four chapters done so far. Our fourth one is uh, uh, going to be back from print this week, and we'll have it for the con. Uh, but we're probably going to have about 12 chapters in the story altogether. So we'll be really? going for several more years. That is awesome. Do you have it all like sketched out and where are you going? More or less, we have the overall story mm -hmm. sketched out, um, but details get firmer as we get closer to that part of the story. Okay. So the, the, the very end of it, we know roughly what's going to happen, but not exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so it's sort of like developing naturally kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's really, really cool. Now, um, tell me, uh, ah, like, tell me the process of actually putting together everything, because this is like highly detailed, it's colored, it's really, really looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, well, first, thank you. Um, so the way it works is um, I'll work on the, the, I'll write the scripts. Uh, I do all the writing. Uh, Al does all the artwork. So uh, first we'll do, uh, we'll go through several steps of, of writing. You know, first kind of get the, the basic story down. Mm -hmm. What we've been doing lately is uh, we'll create a, a list of scenes for each chapter. So it'll be just a, uh, sort of a broad idea for the scene, like in this scene, you know, Hartman escapes from the Nazi camp or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then after we get that kind of the, the overall arc of the chapter laid out, then I'll go in and start mapping out the individual pages. And so I'll write just a list of saying, like, on this page this happens, on this page this happens. And uh, that helps us to really figure out how many pages we're going to need for each scene and for the chapter as a whole. And then I start um, writing each chapter, each, each, each page. We actually do the script at that point. And so I'll deliver the scripts, well, ideally I deliver the scripts one scene at a time, although lately it's like one page at a time because I'm always running behind. Right. Uh, but I'll deliver a, a script for a scene, and then Al will start working on the pencils. He does all the pencils by hand on paper, uh, then he scans them into his computer, and he does all the coloring on uh, using Photoshop. Oh, cool. Uh, but so now, in order to help out, he'll send me the, the scanned pencils. I'll usually do the flatting, which is the first step of the coloring process, oh, no. send it back to him, and then he does all the final colors. Right on. That's a pretty in-depth process. How long does one chapter take? Well, we put out uh, one page a week. Uh, you know, we have a website, and so we, we're putting out the story on our website. And so our chapters have been about 60 pages each, so it usually takes a little over a year to do each chapter. Wow, that is awesome. This is truly a, a labor of love. With a, yes. yeah. It's a lot of work. Awesome. Is there anything else you're working on? on no, this is this takes up all of our time. This is this is the Mac Daddy right here. That yep. is awesome. And it's uh, all going to be at the at Denver Comic Con. Yep. Is there any other like merch you have with this, like shirts or anything? Uh, well, we have um, in addition to our books, we have some really cool. Um, Posters. We have uh, four different designs. Most of them are, are based on old propaganda posters uh, from the war. Cool. Um, propaganda kind of plays a big part in our story. We sort of are fascinated by the way propaganda worked during the war. It was just so in your face. You know, mm -hmm. it was everywhere. Um, so we have uh, some propaganda posters, and we also have. Um, 
We had this uh, really nice uh, screen printed design that we brought out two years ago. It's a, it's a Denver Comic Con exclusive. We haven't been able to sell through them yet. We have a few left. So uh, those are a nice limited edition thing we That's have as well. really cool. Awesome. So besides uh, what you're going to be doing there, what are you most excited about at Comic Con? Oh, wow. Um, you know, to, to be honest, I'm not sure because we don't ever get to go and enjoy the con. You know, we're stuck at our table all the time, so we always see like there's lots of cool guests coming, right. um, but we don't get to ever really go see them or do, or do anything at the con. So you're just gonna enjoy being at the table. I, actually, I have a lot of fun there. It's really great just inter uh, interacting with our readers and stuff. So that's really the, the best part. Right on. I can't wait to see your booth there and visit you there, man. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. This is Groovy. I'm here with Sean Gustafson, of the creator of The Specialist, our co-creator. Don't, don't want to get you in trouble. Right, right. See you at Comic-Con, man. All right, thanks. Bye.